Hello and welcome to another instructional video brought to you by Zappysys. In this video we're going to cover how to get data from a Salesforce database and put it into a destination such as a SQL Server database using a custom component called Upsert which can insert, update, and delete data all in one step. This is a custom component that you'll be able to use after you download and install the Zappysys SSIS Power Pack and you can get that by going directly to the website at zappysys.com hovering over products, SSIS Power Pack, and download the free trial. And I'll be sure to post a link to this in the video description below. All right, so let's crank up Visual Studio. And you can either create a new project using the integration services template, or you can use an existing one. I'm gonna use an existing one, and I'm going to right click and add a new package. The first thing you'll notice as always are all the custom Zappy Sys components that you'll see in the toolbox. And of course, you'll see different ones if you're on the data flow pane versus the control flow pane. So again, this is a video where we're going to get data from a Salesforce database. So first, let's drag a data flow task. And then in the task, we're going to grab the custom Zappysys Salesforce source component. So whenever you get data from a source or a, put it into a destination, you have to specify the connection. So of course you can always right click and use the new connection to create one. I'm gonna show you how to make one inside the task itself. All you gotta do is click this little new button and it'll prop up and ask you for your credentials. So I'm gonna copy my username, my password, and my security token. And the security token is kind of like an API key that Salesforce requires. If you don't know what yours is, you can reset your user and password inside Salesforce and you should get an email with your new security token. Or you can check out your account settings in Salesforce itself. I'll also post another link to another doc that'll show you the best way to get the security token and give you a little bit more details about it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit test connection and it should say it works, great. So now, back in Visual Studio, we're gonna say what data do we want from Salesforce? So the first option is to get an entire table and we could select a table. So let's say these are all the tables inside Salesforce or at least my instance of it, I'm gonna click the account and I'll say preview and show me what this looks like. So of course it's a lot of rows and columns showing me the account table in Salesforce. That's great. Another option is you can write a query and Salesforce uses something called SOQL, Salesforce Object Query Language. So a little different from regular SQL. So you'll notice this little widget and you can browse all of the tables in your Salesforce instance and then once you do you'll see all the columns and their data types or attributes. So this can be a handy way to write some SQL if you're not sure how to do it. You can also use this view examples option. So here we can just click this super basic query to say here's some very limited data from our Salesforce instance and this is coming from the contact table now. So if we say preview, here's that. And I think there's another example um, yep, that says with date time. So this is a cool one because he's also coming from the contact table, but he's using a variable here to determine what date and time should we use. And these you can see here, here's some more examples of some variables and you can click this link. But basically the point is you don't have to hard code all of your SQL, even when you're writing the custom SQL. And so I'm going to use this. We'll say, okay, this is the data that I want. Looks like about 10 rows, six columns. Looks great to me. Okay. So now we have our source. Now we have to put it somewhere. I'm going to use the custom Zappy Sys upsert component. So let's drag our source, connect it to our target. And in our target, I'm going to pick my SQL server instance that I already have. So we'll use my test database and what table do I want? So you'll notice I only have four tables. I'm gonna make a new table. I'm gonna use this feature and we'll call it uh, Salesforce Upsert Destination. So this 
if I already had a table I wanted to use, that's fine. I could pick that. But I want to put it in something new that doesn't exist. So I'm going to say, okay. And it's going to say, hey, I've mapped your five columns from the source to the target. Perfect. I'll add this ID just as a key. We can also see that the columns are mapped right here. But the reason I wanted to show you this upsert feature is because you also have other options. In my instance, I'm creating a brand new table, so there's nothing to sync or delete. But suppose you're using a table that exists that has lots of rows in it, and you're getting your data from Salesforce and comparing them. You can update all the data in your target instance based on whether the data matches. You can delete data from your target based on if it matches the data in your source. You can even sync the data. So if there's extra rows in your target that don't match, those will get deleted and only the most recent copy from your source will update the rows. I'm just going to use this super basic example though to insert new data from my source. So I'll say OK. It says, hey, there's no index on this new table. Do you want to do that? Sure. I'll add an index. And now in my SQL Server instance, you'll see I had four tables. Now I'll refresh it. I should have five tables. There's my new Salesforce table. It should be empty because we haven't ran the package yet. All we did was create it. So that's great. There's no rows. And now we'll go back in Visual Studio and we'll just run our package. So this is going to get our data from our Salesforce instance and put it into our SQL Server instance using this upsert component. And 10 rows were retrieved. There we go. So now if we rerun our SQL, we see our 10 rows and our target. So that's it. Hopefully you saw how flexible and super easy it is to get data from a Salesforce database and bulk insert it into something like a SQL Server database using these custom Zapisys components. If you want to give it a try but haven't already, be sure to download the Power Pack and don't forget the link is in the description below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Zapisys YouTube channel to get more updates and SSIS tips and tricks in the future.